Okay, so I'm getting ready to buff out this. I'm going to buff the clear coat out. And it's going to be ready. It's final. It's got about 10 coats of clear on it. And I just get uh, sanding both the top and the sides with the 320 dry. And now that I've done that, I'm fixing to do start the wet sanding, which I'll start with 400 wet sanding. As you can see how it's I used the, the dry 320 to try to get it as smooth as possible and get all the shiny parts out of it. And all the orange peel. Main thing is you want to get all the, all the orange peel out. You want it to be want it to be smooth like that with no orange peel. Anyway. Okay, now that I've done that. Next step is wet sanding with 400. Okay, here's what it looks like after I wet sand it with 400. It's a lot smoother. Next will be 800, and then 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000. Kind of wet. Getting there. Smooth as baby's butt right now. And that's just with 400. Fixing to do 800. Okay, so now I've got, I'm done with the 800 grit wet sanding. See how really smooth it's looking now. A thousand, two thousand, we get those scratches out, hopefully. But as far as the surface goes, it is super smooth. I mean, it is so smooth. And also did the sides with 400 and 800. See how smooth those are. Same thing. Nothing rough at all. It is it's baby smooth. All right. Next is either a thousand or fifteen hundred, whichever one I can find. Okay. Here's the guitar. After I <coughs> kept doing exactly what I was doing a while ago, I started. I left off with y'all um, at eight hundred grit. I went ahead and did the 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and 3,000 all the same way. And now look out, look at that. This is before I've even buffed it. This is just uh, wet after wet sanding. See how smooth that is? It's got a nice satin finish on it even before it's even been buffed. I went ahead and did the sides too. So it's ready. Ready for the final buffing. And we get to put it together. Okay, so I just started buffing the back using my Meguiar's. That's what I use for all my guitars. Everything I've done so far, I've used this one. And this one bottle has lasted for like four or five different guitars. That's just one little section that I did. I did. From here to there, and I'm not I'm not done with it yet. You can still see where it's got cleaner on it right there. Here's a comparison. I've got half of it buffed, and half of it not. You can definitely tell which side is both. 
I'm not done with yet. I haven't used a swirl remover. This is just a cleaner, basically. Uh, finished at last. All buffed out. Super shiny. Smooth. Slick as a baby's butt. Look at that. It's like a mirror. That is what I call a mirror image. But I can see outside looking in my guitar. And I can see me. Here I am on the back of my guitar. That's how shiny it is. Same thing in the front. Look at that. Oh yeah, super proud of this one. I didn't know how well the flame top was going to look when it came out, but I think it looks great. Pops out a lot more than some of the flame tops that you buy in the store. Yeah. Yep. I'm proud of this one. That. that is cool. Alright, here's what it looks like with the neck on it. I just stuck it on there for now, I haven't bolted it in yet. It is no longer a Jackson Dinky. It is a Charvel with a Dinky body. Oh, there's my cat. He always manages to get in the shot somehow. He's a photo ham. Look how shiny it is there. Alrighty. Well, this concludes this video. I got the clear goat on, buffed it all out. You see how shiny it is. All I gotta do is bolt it on the neck, put in the electronics, string her up, and then I'll have a video of a demo of how it sounds. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, keep watching to see what all I'm gonna do, and check out my next guitar project where I'm gonna be building the Eddie Van Halo guitar. Here you are here. What are you doing? Say bye, Bo. <laughs> Say bye to the camera. Tell them subscribe. Subscribe. All right. See y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.